Welcome back. This is part three of the tutorial on how to make the lamb. So we're going to start with our color B, which is the dove color yarn, and we're going to go ahead and make the body. So you're going to make a magic circle with six stitches. So you got one, two, three, four, five, and six. <clears throat> so go ahead and close up your circle, which it may be a little bit more difficult. The marker okay so then find the first stitch that you made so you can count back so six five four three two one so it's right here and if you need to use a yarn needle and find it. It's going to be kind of difficult to get into because of the kind of yarn it is. So for the first, for the second row, I mean, it's going to be two single crochet in each stitch around. There we go. <clears throat> that but this is too loose right here so again this definitely takes some patience it's a lot slower of a process because of this yarn and I would say once you're done with the body that's the hardest part with this yarn the tail is a little bit difficult too but not as big as the body, so it's easier. Okay. So there's two. Three. Four. Whoops. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven and twelve. Okay, for the third row, it's going to be one single crochet in the first stitch and then two in the following. So you have twelve stitches around right now. So just go ahead and feel, find your first stitch, put one single crochet. Find your second stitch and put two single crochet into it, and then just repeat this around.
Okay, then we just gotta put two in this last stitch here. Okay, <clears throat> so that's now 18 stitches around, and that's the end of our third row. For the fourth row, we're going to do one single crochet in the next two stitches, and then two single crochet into the third. So we got one single crochet into the first stitch, one into the second stitch, and two into the third stitch. And then we're just going to repeat this. One into the first, one into the second, and two into the third. I'm hoping that you're finding it easier as the rows go along to work with this yarn. I know when you first start using this yarn, like for me, it was really difficult. And then I got the hang of it, but it's, I always find it harder when you're first starting. And then after you get a few rows in, it's easier to get into the stitches and to find the stitches. Sometimes I can even see the stitches, like I can see this one right here. But I still like to feel because if you've made a mistake yet, you know it's very difficult to pull this yarn out to start the row over. If you haven't, and you mess up and you have to pull the yarn out to start the row, row over, it is very difficult. Um, just take it real slow, one stitch at a time. It will come out. It's just definitely harder because all the fluff. Okay, and then two in this last stitch here. Okay, so that was the end of our row four, and we now have 24 stitches around. Row five is one single crochet in the next three stitches, and then two into the fourth. So, got one single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet into the second stitch, one single crochet into the third stitch, and then two single crochets into this fourth stitch. I'm redo this one. Okay, and then just repeat that around. So one single crochet in the first, one single crochet into the second, one single crochet into the third, and then two single crochet into the fourth stitch.
Okay, two single crochets into this last stitch here. All right. So that was the end of row five. And we now have 30 stitches around. Row six is one single crochet in the next four stitches and then two single crochet into the fifth stitch. I got one single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into the second stitch, one single crochet into the third stitch, one single crochet into the fourth stitch, and then two single crochets into the fifth. And then just repeat this around. So one single crochet in the first four stitches and then two into the fifth. Okay, and then we got two into this fifth stitch here. Okay, so that was the end of row six and we now have 36 stitches around. So the next rows is seven rows even, rows seven through 13. So let's go ahead and work this first row. It's gonna be one single crochet in each of the 36 stitches around. And what I like to do is I like to have a piece of paper and at the end of a row, just mark it off. So we'll do this first row together. And I always recommend counting with this yarn. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six. Seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one. Thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, and then this last stitch is thirty six. So then I go ahead and replace my marker and then I'll mark off I did row seven. So go ahead and do the other six rows on your own. Just make sure that you count as you're doing it and you have 36 stitches in each of these rows marking off as you're complete and I will meet you back here at row 14. Okay so we're back so you should be all the way done with your seven rows so you should now have 13 rows and 36 stitches around. So let's go ahead and work on row 14. Row 14 is one single crochet in the next four stitches and then two together. So one in the first stitch one in the second stitch, one in the third stitch, one in the fourth stitch, and then two together. 
And if you remember from earlier, when you do the two together, I find it better to already have your next stitch and kind of hold it in place so that you don't lose your place. And then just repeat one, two, three, four, and then two together. And then two together. One, two, three, four. And then two together. One, two, three, four. Two together, one, two, three, four, and then these last two together. Okay, so that's the end of row 14, and we now have 30 stitches around. Row 15 is one row even, so one single crochet in each of the 30 stitches. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, <clears throat> seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight. 
28, 29, and 30. Okay, so that's the end of row 15. You still have 30 stitches around. So row 16 is one single crochet in the next three stitches and then two together. One, two, three, and then two together. One, two, three, and then two together. One, two, three, and then two together. Two, three, and then two together. One, two, three and two together one two three And then I got these last two together. Hold on one minute. Okay, these last two stitches together here. <clears throat> okay, so that was the end of row 16, and we now have 24 stitches around. Row 17 is one single crochet into each of these 17 stitches, or 20. Sorry, one single crochet into each of the 24 stitches. So, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Eighteen, nineteen, 
పోని Okay, that is the end of row 17. You still have 24 stitches around. Row 18 is one single crochet in the next two stitches and then two together. So one, two, and then two together. And then repeat one, two, and then two together. One, two, and two together. One, two, And then two together. Let me get more yarn here. One, two, two together. One. Two, and then these last two together. Okay, so you now have 18 stitches around. Row 19 is one row even, so one single crochet in each of the 18 stitches. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. Okay, so that was the end of row nineteen. You still have eighteen stitches around. Row twenty is one single crochet in each of the eighteen stitches again. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. This was also our final row, so we're going to go ahead and go into the next stitch and just slip stitch, and then go ahead and leave yourself a decent sized yarn tail because you're going to use your yarn tail from the body to sew the head on. After you cut your yarn tail, just go ahead and pull it through. make it tight. You can go ahead and stick that in the body for now and go ahead and set your body aside with your head. We'll go ahead and put this on later. Okay, so let's go ahead and make the ears. Okay, so get your gray heather yarn and make a magic circle with six stitches. So one, two, three, four, Five, six. Okay, so you have your magic circle with six stitches and place your marker. Okay, for round two, we're going to put one single crochet in each of the six stitches around. So, one, two, three, Four, five, and six. Okay, so for row three, we're going to do one single crochet in the first stitch and then two and two the second stitch. So one in the first, two into the second, and then just repeat one, and then two, one, and then two. Okay, for the fourth row, we're going to do one into the first two and then two into the third. And go one into the first stitch, one into the second stitch, and two into the third stitch, and then repeat. So one, one, two. One, 
one, and then two in this last stitch. Okay, so that was the end of row four. You now have 12 stitches around. So row five is one in the first three and two into the fourth. So one, two, three, and then two into the fourth. And then just repeat this. One, Two, three, and then two into the fourth. One, <clears throat> two, three, and then two into the fourth. Okay, and that was the end for row five. You now have 15 stitches around. Row six is one row even, so just one single crochet in each of the 15 stitches. Okay, row seven is one single crochet into the first three and then two together. So one, two, three, and then crochet two together. And then just repeat this. One, two, three, crochet two together, one, two, three, and then crochet two together. Okay, so that was the end of row seven, and you now have 12 stitches around. Row eight is one single crochet in the first stitch, or first two stitches, and then two together. So, one, two, and then two together. And then just repeat this. One, two, two together, one, two, and then these last two together. That's also our last row. So we're going to go ahead and slip stitch into your next stitch. And then you're going to go ahead and leave yourself maybe about 10 inches to work with of a yarn tail. And go ahead and finish off. And that's one of the ears. So of course you're going to need two ears. So if you want to go ahead 
rewind your min what rewind your video to 17 uh, I'm sorry I'm doing this in two videos so I might be a little bit off but I believe rewind your video to about the 37 minute mark and go ahead and make your second year so this is the end of part three thank you for watching if you enjoyed this so far go ahead and give me a thumbs up uh, go ahead and subscribe to my page and check out some of my playlists there's other tutorials on how to crochet a lion a monkey and a giraffe I do have more videos to come I will design more animals and upload them as I go thank you for watching